So welcome to this second video of today's lecture. And now we are going to focus only on the regression table because it's a little bit more complex. So first of all, we have the three models in just one table that will save us some space. So we don't need to have three tables, one for each model. It's not, it's not the most efficient thing. We can just have it like this, but it will be a bit tricky because each model has different um, variables. So in some models, we will not input anything because there is literally nothing to input in there. But let's start with model one. Remember that model one has no controls. It's literally just your independent variable and global mindset, and that's it. So what we are going to report in here in the table is just to move from our SPSS output in here, and I will tell you how to do it. So first, I, I like to start from bottom to top because that's also how uh, how we do it in, 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 in practice, how we test the, the, the model. So the first thing that we need to include is this F value in here with the, the respective stars that we have. So the, this value F, we need to put it in here 2.277 and depending on its significance, we will add different stars. So this model in specific is not the best model. It's a model where the stars are not even less than 0.1, it is 0.133. So we should not add any star. It is not a very good model. It's not the model fit is not statistically significant. So I said yesterday that we need to move forward. This model cannot be interpreted. You cannot use it to reject or support the hypothesis, but in the table, you still need to fill in all the data. So for adjusted R square, you need to uh, report this one here. So it is 0 0.06. For BIF value, you need to report the highest of these numbers. We only have one right now, so it will be one, 1. 1.000. And then the constant is the unstandardized, because we don't have a standardized constant, is this number in here. It actually says in here, the constant is the unstandardized coefficient. So unstandardized coefficient of the constant, 7.751. And make sure that you also report its significance. It is significance by less than 0 0.001. So then add three stars like this. This is what you have to do for the constant. The significance will tell you how many stars you will add. Now we are adding three stars because it is less than 0 0.001. In this one, we didn't have any star because is higher than 0.1. Anyway, so click of, um, click enter, you have it like this. And then for the standard error is this one, 0 0.277, 0 0.277, just like that. And then we need to include materialism as well. Materialism, the standard coefficient, make sure you don't add the unstandardized for everything else because we do have it it will be positive. The standardized coefficient minus 0 0.103. And how many stars do we need to add? No stars. It's not significant. It's more than 0.1. So no stars. Standard error, it's in here. Standard coefficient, coefficient of standard error, 0 0.047. And that's it. So that's how you fill in the first um, the first model and and for materialism in your uh, I, I think in the third video i will discuss how to discuss this in the assignment but this model cannot be interpreted because of this it's not a good model it's not useful so let's move to model two model regression two it's in here i can just go a little bit down it's in here regression two so let's follow the same order let's start with the f value so we have F value of 1.689. And then we have a tricky thing because it's very close from this uh, 0.1, but it's still not there. 
So I think the best thing to do is to not not include any star because otherwise we will be lying. So let's not report like that. But as I say during the during the lecture, during the workshop uh, on the analysis, materialism groups, please use this this model in the end. I know it's very close. So maybe write uh, write in the discussion. We will talk about this in 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 the third video. Write that although the f value is not significant, is so close that we will allow it for this time. And I mean, it's in in your dissertation. We will probably need to fix the numbers or something. But in here, it's just a, a practice. So I mean, we can move forward, right? So just be conscious that we are doing it. We it's just an exception. It shouldn't be like that. So do not add a star because it's not significant. But uh, use it, use it in your discussion. Then adjusted R square is here. So 0 0.0.5, 0 0.025. <laughs> BIF value, now we have more BIF values and you need to report the highest one. So the highest is 1.353, that's it. And then uh, the other thing that we need to report is the constant. So the unstandardized coefficient of the constant is 6.771 and it is significant at three stars. So three stars and its uh, error is 0.694. Then for materialism, we also report which the a uh, standardized coefficient. Remember, everything that has a standard coefficient report the standard coefficient, so it will be minus 0 0.069. With no stars, is not significant, and standard error of uh, 0 0.048. And then for the control variables that we have in here, just uh, write all the standard coefficients with the stars that you have. So I think only Sweden is significant with one star. Everything else is not significant. So just write the standardized coefficients without um, without any star. 0 0.6, 0 0.34, 0 0.068, 0 0.025, uh, 0.071, minus 0.116 with one star because this one is significant with one star and 0 0.101 and then the standard errors standard errors for gen gender is 192 0 025 0 069 223 186 190 186 like that. and we finish with module two I mean, in practice, this model also doesn't work. We will have to fix it. We need to go back to the data, maybe remove the outliers. We will need to do like something to make it work because it's very close, but we still need to make it work. In this assignment, you can move forward. I give you permission to have this exception. So materialism groups, please move forward with the interpretation. So what will you interpret? Like we did before, the R square is fine, no multicollinearity problem, but materialism is not significant, thus you reject the hypothesis, whatever, because it's not significant. It doesn't matter if your hypothesis was positive relationship or negative relationship, you still reject. And then we move to the final regression, the one with all the controls, actually it's written in here, all controls. So before we move forward, I realized something that I need to fix. I think you won't have this problem in yours because I realized that I didn't update the N. I, this is from another paper probably. So I need to update the number of observations to 216. So I will just uh, copy this. I'm here to update this, but that's just a minor thing. You won't have to do it. I will fix it before I send you the files. But now let's focus on model three, all controls, the last one. So we start always from the end, from the last until the beginning. <laughs> so let's start with F value. Finally, we have a nice F value, uh, significance of the F value. So report that 7.420 with three stars. That's very good. Finally, three stars because it's less than 0 0.001, less than 0 0.001. That's very good. 
Adjusted R square, also very nice adjusted R square, 264. By BIF value, um, the highest one is H with 1.476, also very good thing. We already discussed that yesterday. And the constant, constant uh, on standardized constant, 3.822 with three stars because it's significant at less than 0 0.001. So now let's move forward with the, with the uh, coefficients. So materialism, standardized coefficient is minus 0.18 with one star, right? One star here. Then I will move to gen gender with 0 0.341 and nothing because it's not significant. The next one is minus 328 and nothing because it's not significant. Then year is 0 0.490 and nothing because it's not significant. University 0 0.825 and nothing. Then level 0 0.402 and nothing. Sweden minus 1.09 and nothing. International experience 0.924 and nothing. And then the, um, ah, sorry, I was, I made a mistake. <laughs> you see how easy it, is, easy it is to make a mistake. I was reporting the T value and not the standardized coefficient. So let me fix that. It will be 0 0.029. So this one for gender uh, minus zero. 0 0.056, 0 0.030, 0 0.049, 0 0.027, uh, minus 0 0.067, 0 0.055. So you see how easy it was to make a mistake. I was reporting the T value and not the coefficient. And for the, I can even just report the standard error. So for gender, gender is here. Uh, 0 0.169, H023, 060, 194, 164, 167, 162. Mm -hmm. So now I move to the, um, and I can also report the materialism uh, error. So 0 0.044, it's here, efficient standard error. And now let's report the, the coefficients for the other controls, col collectivism and so on. So coefic uh, coefficient of collectivism is 0.127 with two stars. It is still less than 0 0.05, so two stars. Uh, 0 0.387 for the biospheric values with three star. That's very good. And ne networking skills, it is 0.185 with, I think is two stars. And then um, finally, professional aspirations, 0 0.04, 0 0.054 with no stars. It's not significant. And then just the standard errors very quickly. So, 0 0.052, 0 0.050, 0 0.056, 0 0.066. So there it is. And I, just, I only missed the error for the constant, 0 0.825, that's it. So we finished the table and I think it's good, this final model three, this, this part, because everyone should have the same numbers. If you don't have the same number, check if it's your mistake. I think I didn't make a mistake, hopefully not. But if for some reason, maybe just uh, send send an email and I will I will report in Canvas if there is a mistake I made. But hopefully everyone has the same for Model 3 because in Model 3 it's just the same. The only thing that will change is that maybe some people will have here biospheric values and materialism here because it depends on which is your independent variable, what you will have on top. So that's the only thing that will change, but everything else will be the same for everyone else. So maybe double check with this table. It should look like exactly the same, just the order might differ. 
So we finished, that's it. This is where, how we report the models. And just maybe a quick reminder, remember that uh, the first thing that we need to check when we evaluate the models is if the F value is significant or not. We don't really care about the number. We only care about the significance like in here. So just an exemption for this case, we are going to move forward with model two because it's very close, but we shouldn't do it. Then report the adjusted R square. We also have issues here and here, but we will move forward because it's just a practice. I think in, in real life, we will need to do something. BIF value, we don't really have a problem at all. That's very good. And then the next thing that you discuss is if, if everything is all right, and then you could move forward, like in these models, then you need to discuss your coefficients. So again, I'm using materialism because it's an interesting case. Model one cannot be interpreted because this, this is bad and we cannot move forward. Model two, we will interpret, although it's not perfect, but we will have an exception. And the interpretation is that the, the model two rejects or doesn't support the hypothesis, no matter what hypothesis, because it's not significant. And finally, in model three, everything works and the coefficient is significant, but negative. So now it depends if your hypothesis is that more materialism has a negative effect on global mindset, then you support. If more materialism has a positive uh, effect on, on global mindset, then you, you, you support, right? So no support if it is, if, no, sorry, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm confused. But if you say negative effect, then you support because the coefficient is negative. If you say positive effect, then you reject because the coefficient is negative. So I, I hope I didn't confuse you. So in the end, uh, you have only two models that you can use, depending on how you state the hypothesis, it will be a partial support or uh, inconclusive uh, findings because, I'm not sorry, it will be either partial support because you have one that says yes and one that says no, or full reject because maybe that is the case. You had a hypothesis saying it is positive and then you reject here and you reject here. So it's a full reject. So that is how, uh, how you feel in the tables. I hope I didn't confuse you with the final uh, conclusion, but uh, now in the next video, I will tell you how to now move from here and how to put it in the Word document in the assignment. So that's it for now.